All right, Schlagmeister fans, in the joyous tradition, joy in San Francisco. Let's check it out. Zara White plays Joy, and here she is in San Francisco. I've actually been in that exact spot myself. I love my work. Okay, so it's not always fun. But wow, it's exciting. Even when I was a little girl, I used to like showing up. Missed it. It was fun getting the mental excited. As far as I'm concerned, revealing my body is a kind of game. It's a game that's fun for everybody. She's about to go on TV to promote a book, I think, or promote something. Hi, I'm Jane I'm Jane Carter, your new PR woman. Nice to meet you. How are things going? I'm oh, fine. Not too tired or jet lag. We're a little beef, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. In the dressing room after the show, she starts to make out with the other woman there. It's a wonderful scene, actually. I wish I could show it to you. She hears a TV report about a plane that crashed. Her boyfriend was on that plane. Paul. Then we have a flashback to her messing around with Paul. I'm gonna brand you now. <laughs> yeah, you'll see. Well, I'll show you Stop what it. we do to little doggies. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> from everybody, especially the press and journalists. I don't give a shit about them anymore. <laughs> I have a very quiet race. It's a religious sanctuary. They're helping people like you. I go there sometimes too. You don't worry. So she goes to this religious sanctuary, why you are here. which seems like a cult. I didn't get what's going on. What this guy want? Perhaps you will I didn't listen. I wanted to sleep. Sleep. Forget all the horror. Very strange. They give her this okay. bracelet, which kind of indoctrinates her into whatever the hell this is. The way the girls were dressed. It was really far out. It was a sensation I've never had before. The whole thing disgusted me. All the ladies in here are barely dressed. Time, I wanted to be taken care of, fondled, fucked. Good luck for you. What do I have to do? I'm ready to do anything. Tell me. You must confess your sins. How long have you been lost? Well, I guess always. This is like the main guru guy. For really no reason at all, we see a flashback to a, a strip club. In fact, we see a couple of different strippers in their thongs doing their thing. She is getting that bracelet. Next thing you know, she's kissing that lovely lady. While they get it on, all the other ladies watch. particular. She dons some boxing gloves and has a little exercise with this guy. This eventually leads to the two of them in the ring doing it. I can't show you that part though. We learn a little bit about the cult. Two weeks. What happened? You've been drugged. I didn't give you any last night. You will feel the difference. Where am I? What's this? This is a sect of Antras. And this is the bracelet for the Vestals. Or you could say the slaves. She realizes she needs to escape from there, so... She and this other girl decide to have a threesome with the exterminator. Or so he thought. 
So she takes his uniform and leaves in high heels. Family wouldn't come with me. She's too scared of Mario. I told her that I'd come back to get her and all the others. She goes to the house of the woman who set her up. You better get her back quick. Have you told Mario? Find him. It's dangerous. Joy's a celebrity. I don't want anyone to get to her first. Naturally, Mario's allowed to love again. Well, they get into a fight. She ends up knocking her out with a vase. But guess what? This guy comes in with a knife and stabs the woman. Drops the knife and makes it look like Joy did it. So Joy is arrested. While she's in jail, she has a flashback to better days, I guess. Because that's what you do when you're in a cell. And you remember Paul? I guess he's alive. He didn't die in that plane crash. Oh, Joy, it's been over two weeks. I looked everywhere. What were you? Well, you're dead, Paul. The accident, everyone was killed. It was really horrible. Bro, I don't understand. How did you... It's a miracle. I was late, so I took a later flight. So I'm the release. He brought his great lawyer. Let's go rescue the girl. Yes. I know where the guy hides. He tried to kill me. Where? So he somehow is able to get her out. Get all the girls out. And they're going after everybody else in the pet cult. There are lots of other things you can Here come the cops. Okay, JC, here's the United States. Police! Hold it. So I guess all ends well. I don't know what happened to that murder rap she was on, but she's free. Watch your hat. It ends with the two of them taking a break in the middle of the desert. Very long. There we were alone in the middle of the desert. We made love as if our lives depended on it. Like desperate survivors from a shipwreck. All right, let's talk about Joy in San Francisco. If you've seen my channel for a while, you saw I reviewed a couple other movies, Joy and Joy Chapter 2. Uh, they have absolutely nothing to do with this one. I think when I originally acquired this film, I thought it was kind of a, more in the Joy series, but it's not. It's just a completely separate film, at least as far as I can tell. This one stars Zara Whites. I believe that's how you pronounce the name. Uh, she was actually a porn star at, well, for several years, and she made this. This is a, a softcore film, although it's pretty risque, if you ask me. There's a lot of... Um, a lot, of, uh, a lot of vagina shots in this, let's just say that. Uh, but no penetration or anything like that, at least not that they showed. But anyway, the movie, uh, in this movie, uh, she plays Joy, and she, I guess she's from France, and she's some sort of model slash actress, whatever. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's not much of a plot here. She goes to San Francisco. Uh, there's photo shoots. We hear some narration uh, about uh, how she uh, enjoys being naked that sort of thing and how she sleeps around she's in a committed relationship it sounds like but she has no problem sleeping with other men and she makes that point clear and then she does so as well and then she gets upset she's um, on this tv show promoting a book or something and then in the back room she's uh making out with this chick uh they're both naked and then she hears something a tv report come on saying that uh, this plane crashed and her uh boyfriend or whoever the hell he is paul was supposed to be on that flight so she's uh, grief stricken she runs out of the uh, uh, room naked and runs down the hall and to the arms of some other woman who consoles her and then she she recommends that she go to this uh, retreat uh, where there's some sort of weird cult thing going on I don't know they drug her while she's there and there's orgies and sex and all kinds of things she eventually escapes from there by um, she and this other chick uh, pretend to uh, be starting a threesome with this exterminator who came here. Then they put tape over the exterminator's mouth. She took his suit, took off in his car, and left. And then I don't know exactly what happened, but she somehow figured out that she was set up to go there. So she goes to the woman's house to set her up, and then she overhears her on the phone talking about it. And then they get into a cat fight on the floor. And then this guy bursts in, I don't know who he is, and he stabs the other woman and kills her. 
and then drops the knife. So it looks like Joy uh, did it. So Joy gets arrested. She's in jail. While she's in jail, she has fantasies about uh, some sex she had in the past. Uh, and then, like, uh, it turns out Paul, the guy who was supposed to be on that airplane and died, uh, is actually still alive. And he comes with an attorney and says, don't worry, he's the best attorney in town. And somehow gets her out of jail. I, I, and then they, and then they go to this cult place and they rescue all the women. And I don't know if it was real police or not that did this, but I don't know. And then the last scene in the movie, she's apparently free and she's uh, riding around in this convertible and then they stop in the desert and have sex on a car. That's Joy in San Francisco. So anyway, I got this DVD here, Joy a San Francisco. Uh, I guess that's French. I don't know. Uh, the, the language is only in French in this one. You're wondering how I have the English language version. Well, I have a pre-recorded VHS of this, so I burned that so I could... Uh, Watch that version and get the English soundtrack. This one actually has an interview with the with the actress. I haven't actually put it in yet uh, to take a look, but um, and, and presumably it's in French. I don't know. I don't know. I, I I don't know if that's an actual French actress or not, Zara. Uh, I guess I could look it up in IMDb, but whatever. Anyway, that's Joy in San Francisco. It is available on DVD. As I recall, this was kind of rare and hard to find, but I do have it, so it's out there. I'll leave a link on Amazon if if, if there is a link for it. Um, and just let me know if you've seen this. I'm guessing nobody has. But, man, if you want nudity and softcore nudity, like Cinemax nudity, this is a great one. I have a feeling this probably did show on Cinemax back in the early 90s. It came out in 1992. And it has that sort of Emmanuel kind of feel to it. But just a little dirtier, put it that way. And that says a lot. So check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments. It's Joy in San Francisco. Watch it. Bye.